Hi guys, what's up? It's Ashlyn Jade and today I'm going to be filming a makeup tutorial for you guys. I love makeup videos. I love watching them. I love making them. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is my everyday makeup tutorial. Um, this is what I wear to school every day on the weekends just when I don't really have anywhere like an event or anything to go to and I'm just doing my makeup. So yeah, this is my everyday no foundation. Um, that kind of thing makeup tutorial and I hope you guys enjoy make sure to subscribe down below and turn on my post notifications so you can see every time I post and yeah let's get on with the video okay so the first thing that I start off with is these bad boys right here my eyebrows um I have no makeup on them right now I have no makeup on my face obviously right now but I don't like to fill them in a ton because they're already pretty dang dark naturally. So what I do is I just comb them out a little bit and then using the Goof Proof Brow Pencil from Benefit, I just kind of define them, I guess. Just draw a little line right here. Okay, and then after that, then I brush the hairs down and then I fill in the top, just like draw a line so you can see the arch. And this is where most of the sparse areas are in my eyebrows, so this is kind of where I focus when I actually do fill them in. And I kind of like just wipe it because you have no makeup on your face, so you can. And then I just kind of, oh my gosh, is that a plane? That is so loud. Okay, and then I brush the hairs up like this. And then I fill in the front of my brow, like right here. Make it nice and even. And then I fill in the tail. So then I just kind of trace that line that I drew earlier, first thing, like here, and then go through the arch, and then just draw a little tail, like that. So it's not like a huge difference, but I just feel like it kind of cleans my brows up a little bit. See from this to this, and yeah, so now I'm just going to do that to the other side. Okay, so now I finished my brows and I've experimented with a lot of different brow gels but I honestly hate brow gel because it makes your eyebrows really crusty and hard and I don't like my eyebrows to feel like that. So I just use a clear mascara. It looks really gross because it's brown now but it just looks like this. Um, it's CoverGirl Professional Natural Lash Mascara. So it's for your eyelashes. I don't know why you would wear clear mascara but they have it at Walmart and Target and pretty much everywhere. So yeah, then I just put that on my brows like this. And then I kind of pat them down into place so it stays. And now I am finished with my brows. See, it, they don't change much, but they just look a lot more neat. So yeah. Okay, next step. Um, I I don't use this yet. I put some concealer on just under my eyes because school is rough and my sleep schedule has been messed up completely ever since I started school. So, oh my gosh, I have like this little sleepy thing on my eye. Can't get it out. Okay, then I just put a little bit of that on. And this is the um, Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. I really like this concealer. It's a drugstore concealer. Um, and I think that it looks really good just on natural skin. There's a lot of concealers that you can like really tell if you're not wearing foundation, if you're just wearing it on your skin, if that makes any sense. Um, but yeah, I really like this one to wear with no foundation. Looks really good, blends right into the skin. I just kind of 
buff it out with a beauty blender. I don't use a wet beauty blender because I think it um, kind of provides more coverage when you don't wet your beauty blender. And then I put some on my chin, just kind of the extra. And then I spray my face with just the Mario Badescu rose water spray. I stopped using this for a while, but um, I like it because my skin's kind of been a little bit greasy lately. And when I use moisturizer every single day, then that makes it, I feel like it just makes it even more greasy. So I just use this instead. I don't feel like it makes my face greasy. So spritz it over the concealer to make sure it sets into my face. Just like that. And then I go through and I kind of just blend it in a little bit more. Okay, next, this is my favorite part, um, lashes. I get a lot of questions on my lashes. Um, and now I can show you guys what I use. So I just curl my lashes first. I hate like the little spritzy bottles cause sometimes there's like huge droplets and it looks like you just like pretty much ran your face under a sink, but it's fine. Okay, curl it really good, and then other one. Okay, so I use two mascaras. If you watched my old makeup tutorials, I literally used like six mascaras. I'm over that. I used to only use one, but now I use a separate one for the bottom lashes and a separate one for the top lashes because I like them to kind of look different. And so what I do first is I do my bottom lashes first because I feel like when you're looking up to do your bottom lashes and you just barely did your top lashes, then it always gets on my eyelids. So I like to do my bottom lashes first and I use Brooklyn and Bailey's mascara. It's called Lash Next Door. It's really good. Um, it's my favorite bottom lash mascara because it really separates your lashes and makes them look really long. And I like my bottom lashes to look like that. So I use this. And then I do my other eye. Okay, so once I like how they look, then I move on to the top lashes and I use the Too Faced BTS Mascara. Um, this is a birthday edition and it's so cute. It's all sparkly. I don't know if you can see that, but it has sparkles on it. So cute. I just got this the other day. And then I do my top lashes. Like that. I love this mascara because it's so... Voluminous. I think that's a word. Correct me if I'm wrong. But it makes your eyelashes have so much volume. Makes them look so good. And then I move on to the next eye. And use a Too Faced mascara. And then I just get all the mascara that I got on my eyelids off of the q-tip then I curl them kind of with my fingers just go like this make sure they stay curled and then I top off the whole look with well usually I just use chapstick but I'm feeling a little extra today so I'm gonna use some lip gloss this is my favorite lip gloss ever it is the, let me see. Rimmel London Stay Glossy Up to Six Hour Shine Lip Gloss. I love it so much. It's the perfect color. It's a little bit lighter than my lips. Rub it together. And yeah, this is the finished look. Um, I hope you guys like it. Um, this is just my everyday makeup look, school makeup look, um, chillin'. Yeah, <laughs> makeup look. 
Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you next time. Bye.